This is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you are new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my supporters and patrons. And today I conducted the first of probably two more, three altogether, of summer battery vampiring. If you don't know what that is, if you do not have an electric car, or even if you do, you probably are aware of something called vampiring. You leave your car overnight unplugged. The, the, the range that you see at night and the range you see in the morning or the range that you see in the morning and you see in the afternoon might be the same or might be different depending on the weather. Weather is a huge catalyst of electric car range of any sort. So um, what I did, I conducted a little test today. I left the car at the parking lot where I work for seven hours and I'm going to do this two times more in the summer because I get this question all the time from uh, from my fans and followers from all around the world, really, who ask me the same question, especially if you are about to buy a electric car. So I'm gonna give you the problem, but I never give problems without solutions. I always give solutions. So I parked my car this morning at 7.06 a.m. The uh, temperature was 44 degrees Fahrenheit and the car showed 246 miles and the battery. The car was parked for about seven hours and I picked it up at 2.13, 2.13 2 p.m. and the temperature was already 73 degrees Fahrenheit and the car lost one holy mile, 2.45, meaning the effect of this temperature, 70, 70, 73, 75 degrees, was very minimal and negligible, I would say. Even if I lost two, three more miles, it would have been negligible. So as you know, especially if you are <laughs> not sure about buying electric car if you're new to this market know that there's something called vampiring the car yes you parked it that doesn't mean everything is okay tesla has a cooling uh, system liquid cooling system of the battery and if it's too hot the, the air condition will go on and it will cool the battery if it's too cold the opposite so the car needs uh, a, a cooling uh, a mechanism to keep the battery healthy so in the tesla Tesla pre-2021 models where they don't have heat pumps, this will affect, by the way, Model Y has a heat pump. I was in Florida with it last week and it was very hot, 90 degrees days every day. And the vampiring was having a little party in my in my car. It was sucking, draining uh, 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 the battery. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wait for a day that it's let's say 90 degrees, about 30 uh, Celsius. And if in Jersey, we don't get a lot of 100 degrees days, but when we do, if we do, it's one or two days, I will do that as well. And I want to see how the effect of that. The same thing in the winter. I will conduct this uh, test in the winter in temperature of, let's say, um, 35 degrees Fahrenheit, 32, which is zero Celsius, and maybe 20, 25 degrees, which we get that in New Jersey all the time, frequently. Now, that, there's no problem with that part. So we'll do those three tests, summer, winter. Now, that's the problem. The solution is this. If you go to work and you do not have a way to charge your car at work, the best thing to do, and I say it when you take long tri long range trips, always overcharge your car by at least 100 miles. So if your daily commute is 50 miles, make sure your car has at least 150 <coughs> miles of range, which means if it's a very cold day or if it's a very hot day, you have a nice buffer to lose, quote unquote, a range of your uh, battery capacity for that day and you can come home comfortably using all the uh, heating and cooling instruments and anything that you want. Now the best solution if you park and you have a, an option to plug it not only that you charge the car but, but also the car will be plugged and vampiring will be minimal will not occur because the car is always charged and can replenish itself. I hope this was helpful it's a really good advice I'm telling you take it and enjoy your car because my point of my videos is to use the, your electric car as a regular car without compromising driving, highway speed plus five, but don't tell anybody, or 10 even, uh, and using all your heat and air conditioning, whatever you need, so you don't have to drive slow and cold or too hot, you know what I mean? Do that and you never will have to worry about anything, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.